This meeting is being recorded. Hallelujah. 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 We have made it to another Sabbath, and I am grateful. This beautiful weather outside. It looks like a, we are turning for the good in terms of the, <laughs> the season. So we're thankful that you came to have um, Torah study with us today. If you are just passing by on Facebook or on um, YouTube, I just want to let you know the other places that you can catch us. And um, you can see all of the teachings that have been done uh, for the last couple of years. If you're on Facebook, uh, you can look under Foundational Fridays Torah Study. We have a group and a Facebook page. If you're on YouTube, you can go to Foundational Fridays Torah Study YouTube page. And all of the videos are on both of them. I uploaded wonderful teachings on exactly that, the foundations of <clears throat> this walk. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments or um, on YouTube and on uh, Facebook. Of course, during Facebook, we will respond to them fairly quickly. On um, YouTube, it might take a little bit longer. Today, Elder Omar will be talking about the regenerated man. Hallelujah. This should be interesting. So we thank you for coming. These are the words that if you hear them and you're unfamiliar with them, this is what we are referring to. Adonai is Lord, Mashiach, Christ, Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit. Yahuwah is Yah's name or God's name. Yahushua, we're referring to Jesus's, uh, Jesus and um, Yahushua HaMashiach, we would be referring to Jesus Christ. So we're going to go ahead and pray. And then after we pray, we will go right into the teaching. Again, if there are any questions, please feel free to um, write them in the chat. The comments and questions are welcomed. Y'all, we thank you for everything that you have done and that you are going to do. We understand that you are great and mighty. We understand that you <clears throat> are the most high Yahuwah. And we thank you. We thank you for the promises that you have placed in your book for us. The promises that you have told us, you can do well, you continue to remind us that they will come true and have come true. Now we thank you for the answers to the test. We thank you for allowing us another chance to come and sit before your feet and get what we need. We ask that this word be food for our souls and minds, yeah, that we allow it to be food. We allow it to nourish us, that we hear it and do what it tells us to do. Yeah, I ask that distractions be um, aborted or not even happen, <clears throat> that those things will come and try to cause us to be more attentive to it than what the word is saying. Yeah, we block that. We say we will not submit to those things, but you who are we, our attention will be on this word. And we choose to follow and we choose to pay attention. I ask that you continue to give Elder Omar a clear understanding that you clean his mind and clear his mind so that he can hear what you have to say to him and him alone, Yah. We thank you for the Ruach that is bringing things into our remembrance. We thank you for the Ruach that is flowing, Yah, that is just um, uh, showing himself strong. We say that the power of the words will heal and it will set people free. And we thank you for that. The power, the same power that raised Yahuwah from the dead, Yah, we thank you that we are possess it and own it and we use it tonight in Yeshua's name. I thank you for healings that are taking place. I thank you for heart changes that are taking place. And yeah, those people who want to be changed, I thank you for allowing that to happen today for their faith is great enough to believe that you and the power that you have and the power you have given us can heal their hearts. I thank you and I ask all of this in Yeshua's name. 
I thank you for strength and focusing and Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 So shalom, shalom, everyone. It's almost a Shabbat. Shalom. The sun is almost set. It's almost. <laughs> Getting later and later. So tonight we're going to talk about the regenerated man. I think this is something that um that we all uh, have to get and keep to the forefront of our mind in this walk. Um, regeneration or renewal or transformation is really the goal for us to be able to obtain or come into a covenant relationship with the Most High. So we're just going to dive in and see what the Most High is saying to us on tonight. Um, and we'll start with the definition. We just used the Western definition tonight for this one. Okay. The Webster's Dictionary, regenerate, formed or created again, spiritually reborn or converted. Restored to a better, higher, or more worthy state. So this is what the goal is, right? The goal is to be created again, to be spiritually reborn or converted, and to be restored to a better place, higher, a higher or more worthy state. This is the goal. This is the goal to, of being regenerated or transformed. This is what we want to be. This is what we want to obtain. This is the state that we want to find ourselves in, right? So we're going to dive in a little more and see what the scriptures say about it. If we got any comments, questions, any other scriptures that come to mind that's in line with what we're talking about, we can just bring them out or put them in the chat. And we'll discuss. All right, I am going to share my screen so I can pull up the Bible Gateway stuff. I think this is it. Let's see, no, that's not the one. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. One second. Stop share. I'm just trying to get up my Bible gateway real quick. One second. Um, hmm. This one. We have a little technical difficulty with the share. <laughs> Has to be this one. All right. Stop share. Share again. Here it is. This one. All right. Can you see the Bible gateway? Yes. All right. So we are going to start at the top. Titus 3, 1 through 6. Okay. You can read it on the, on the complete just Bible side. Remind people to submit to the government and its officials Mm -hmm. to obey them and to be ready to do any honorable kind of work to slander no one, <coughs> excuse mm -hmm. me, to avoid quarreling, to be friendly and to behave gently towards everyone. Uh -huh. For at one time, we too were foolish and disobedient, mm -hmm. deceived and enslaved by a variety of passions and pleasures we spent our lives in evil and envy. People hated us and we hated each other. All right, hold on. So, 
So, so we have to be mindful, right? That some of us, this was our former state, mm -hmm. right? This is, this is how we were. Verse three says, for at one time, we too were foolish and disobedient, deceived and enslaved by a, a variety of passions and pleasures. Sometimes many of us act like we were always in the truth. We act like we were always a little more polished than what we were before. Like we've never been in some stuff that we needed to work our way out of. Right? And being transparent is key. Yeah. Being transparent is key. Um, we have to remember that. We can't forget that so that our pride doesn't um, rise up. Sometimes pastors or mores or whatever title you want to use, some of them portray um, an image as if they walk on water, right? But some of them are actually stuck in the mud. Mm. Two feet stuck in the mud, right? But the appearance is, is as they have it all together. But the problem is that many are transparent. If you, if you, if the goal is to be regenerated, one has to be honest with themselves about the areas that they're struggling or are falling short in so that they can get better in that or get deliverance from it. Right? Sometimes people can get delivered if the pastor or the moray or the overseer or whatever title is, is transparent with, with some of their shortcomings and struggles may be. Mm -hmm. Some of them fear of people judging them, right? So they don't seek the help that they need to truly be transformed or regenerated. But everybody is striving to make it. Everyone who is in this walk is trying, right? The goal is to be transformed. Right. In order to do so, we have to be transparent. We have to recognize and examine ourselves and realize what areas that we need uh, help in, that we need to improve in so that we can do that. All right, start at uh, verse three again. For at one time, we too were foolish and disobedient, deceived mm -hmm. and enslaved by a variety of passions and pleasures. Mm -hmm. We spent our lives in evil and envy. People hated us, and uh -huh. we hated each other. So this, so this is should this is this is the um the characteristics of the old man, mm -hmm. right? Go ahead. Or, but when the, or or some of us might still have these uh characteristics presently that we really need to get rid of, right? If we're going to immerse ourselves in Messiah. All right, go ahead, verse four. But when the kindness and the love uh, for mankind of Yahuwah, our deliverer, was revealed, he delivered us. It was not on the ground of any righteous deeds we had done, but mm -hmm. on the ground of his own mercy. Hallelujah. He did it by means of the mikvah. Hold on, so go go ahead, keep on. The mikvah what? <laughs> of rebirth and the renewal brought about by the Ruach HaKadosh. So in verse five on the left hand side of the screen in the um, King James version, it says, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Ruach HaKadosh. Right, so when we put on Messiah, when we decide to put on Messiah, mm -hmm. right, we're choosing to let go of our old nature. We're choosing to re be born again. We're choosing to put on Messiah, right? Mm -hmm. But in order to do so, we have to strip off 
our old nature. Even when somebody put on clothes, they at least they they take a shower and everything else and prep themselves before they put on their new clothes. They don't try to put, well, most people don't try to put new <laughs> clothes on a dirty body. Right? Most of us don't do that. But it's the same kind of idea. We have to be purified and we have to cleanse and purify ourselves before we can truly put on Messiah. Right? And there are some people who um, it doesn't matter what situation or status you're in now. The greatest opportunity that we have is the, is the whole fact that many of us still have life and breath in our body. So if you have life and breath in your body, you can choose to be transformed at any moment. It's, it just takes a decision. Some people are tired. Some people are, are, have been in situations or are in situations of trying to find their way out completely exhausted, but we can choose at any moment as long as we have breath to be transformed or be regenerated or renewed. But it's done, accomplished through Yahushua Messiah. Any thoughts before we move? No, that's so true. You can see There's it. no other way. It, it's, right. it's through Yahushua Messiah. And repentance is available to everybody who seek it. Go ahead, my bad. No, I, I was just, I was agreeing. I'm saying it's the choice. I was talking about the choices that you say we have a choice <clears throat> to do um, right. We have a choice to do to operate in that. And I think that it, that's lost a lot of times. Mm -hmm. We feel like we don't, but we really do. Because you're choosing anyway. You're either going to choose to obey or choose not to obey. You're choosing one way or the other. Right. Hallelujah. All right. Let me scroll down. Romans 12, 1 through 2. Uh, uh, does it matter which side? Uh, let's do the complete Jewish Bible side. Okay. I exalt you, therefore, brothers, in view of Yahuwah's mercies, to offer yourselves as a sacrifice, living and set apart for Yahuwah. This oh, wait. So, so in, in order for us to offer ourselves as a living sacrifice, right, holy and acceptable unto Yahuwah, which is our reasonable service, right, we have to be transformed. We have to be regenerated. We have to be renewed, right? We, we have to be in right standing with the most high before we can be considered to be set apart. The regeneration and renewal and the trans transformation of our thought process, of our mindset, of our lives is the very act that will allow us to be set apart unto Yahuwah. We can't offer ourselves as a living sacrifice until we submit to the will of the Most High. But a mind that is transformed, regenerated, renewed, that is a mind that has the capacity to submit to the will of the Father. A person who doesn't have a transformed mind does not have that capacity at that particular time. All right, boy. Is that like saying doesn't have the willpower to do it? Yeah, they don't have the desire or the will to do it until they submit themselves to the Father. Hmm. A person hmm. doesn't. A person doesn't doesn't have the mindset to be transformed. They have to desire it and seek after the Most High first. Those are like two different things, right? You can want it in your heart, but then to seek it is to do, right? Or is that something different? Yeah, it's, it's like the same. But um, start at verse one again. Okay. I exhort you, therefore, brothers, in view of Yahuwah's mercies, to offer yourself as a sacrifice, living and set apart for Yahuwah. This will, be, will please him. It 
is the logical temple worship for you. In other words, do not let yourselves be conformed to the standards of the Am Haz. Olam Haze. Haze. Olam Haze. Hmm? Do not let your mind be, don't do not let yourself be conformed to the standards of this world. Allah has a, has a, is this world. Instead, keep letting yourselves be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you will know that Yahuwah wants and will agree that what he wants is good, satisfying and able to succeed. So regeneration starts in our minds. Transformation starts in our minds, right? The renewing, everything starts in our minds, right? The quickest way to walk into transformation or regeneration is to make a firm decision. It's just a decision. Hmm. A person just has to decide and do the work. It don't matter what it, the situation is, what it look like. Once you make your mind up, the most high can transform your life from point A to point B. But everything starts in our mind. We have to decide and choose to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. It's a choice. It's a decision. And it starts in our minds. It starts with a thought process. It starts with the desire and that follows or turns in to action. Any thoughts before we move? I have a practical thought. I don't know if it's biblical. Today when um, I was coming home, I said, I'm going to do these things. I guess I'm thinking about the change. Like if you see it, you can do it. So it's what you say, think, and and envision, right? That's where it starts. Yep. All right. All right. Next one. Let's see. Romans 8. The complete Jewish Bible. Okay. 8 and 7. For the mind controlled by old nature is hostile to Yahuwah. Because it does not submit itself to Yahuwah's Torah. Indeed, it cannot. So when we when we deal with the regeneration, right? And we talk about um, stripping off the old nature or letting our mind be transformed, right? A transformed mind decides to submit itself to Yahuwah's law, statute, commandment, or his Torah. A regenerated, transformed, renewed mind will submit itself to the will of the Father, which is his Torah. Right? It says here, for the, the mind controlled by the old nature is hostile to Yahuwah because it does not submit itself to Yahuwah's Torah. Indeed, it can not. So in order to accomplish that, which requires us self to submit to Yahuwah's Torah, which is being actually in covenant with the Most High, we have to have a transformed mind. We have to have a renewed, it says, keep being renewed, being transformed, right? And the renewing of our mind. Any thoughts? If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Yep. And so we have so many, um, there are so, so many people who are in what we call church, right? And have not submitted or have been fully transformed to submit themselves to the laws of Yahuwah. And some people don't even realize it. That's the bad part. Mm -hmm. that's the bad part right 
Um, all right. Let's go to the next one. Ephesians 4.17. All right, go ahead. On the complete Jewish Bible side. The right side. Therefore, I say this. Indeed, in union with the Lord, I guess, Adonai, I insist on it. Do not live any longer as the pagans lived. Mm -hmm. With their sterile ways of thinking, their intelligence has been shrouded in darkness, and mm -hmm. they are are estranged from the life of Yahuwah because of the ignorance in them, which in turn comes from resisting Yahuwah's will. Wait, so this is what happens when a person's mind is not transformed yeah. or not regenerated. Repentance, repentance is the way that leads to transformation, right? When we do teshuva, when we turn back to the will of the Most High, which is keeping his law, statutes, commandments, and having faith in the Messiah, right? This is only, only a mind that is regenerated and transformed, right, can do this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The Most High. It says their intelligence on verse 18 has been shrouded in darkness as they are estranged from, mm. the, life of Yahu, from the life of Yahuwah because of the ignorance in them, which in turn comes from resisting Yahuwah's will. Like that's a, that's a major thing. It says because of the ignorance in them. Any thoughts? I'm stuck on the second sentence uh, line where it says, I insist on it. There's no choices. There's no, well, you know my heart. <laughs> this is serious right here. I insist do not live any longer as the pagans live. That's it right there. Come out from among them. We take it lightly sometimes. Right. All right, verse 19. They have lost all feeling, so they have abandoned themselves to sensuality, practicing mm -hmm. any kind of impurity and always greedy for more. But this is not a lesson you learn from the Messiah. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you really listen to him and were instructed about him, then you learn that since um, what is what is in you, Yeshua, is truth. What is in Yahusha is truth. Verse 22. Then so far as your former ways of life is concerned, you must strip off your old nature because uh -huh. your old nature is thoroughly rotten by its deceptive desires. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So our old nature is, is, is rotted by its deceptive desires. Right? Mm -hmm. this, this is what it is. This is what we must do to be transformed. This is what we must do to be regenerated. The requirement is to strip off our old nature. And sometimes that can be hard to do. Some people have different areas that, or all of us may have different areas that we are still trying to work out, that we are still stripping off, right? But it says strip off your old nature because it's thoroughly rotten by its deceptive desires. Some of us, some of us have um, like a problem with like correction. Like when somebody tell us something is wrong or out of order, we don't want to hear it. Instead of just stripping it off with it is that's actually probably true. Sometimes right. we take the correction. Right. 
which really keeps us stuck in the same place and keeps us from truly being transformed and regenerated. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. We're on 24. Mm, start 22 again. Okay. Then so far as your former way of life is concerned, you must strip off your old nature because your old nature is thoroughly rotten by its deceptive desires. And you must let your spirit and minds keep being renewed mm -hmm. and clothe yourself with the new nature created to be godly, which express itself in the righteousness and holiness that flow from the truth. So in verse 23, it tells us, and you must let your spirits and minds keep being renewed, which tells us that it is a process. Yes. Right. So we have to keep renewing our minds daily. We have to keep resisting in the enemy in these areas that we have problems in so that he will flee from us. It's a continuous process that requires maintenance, that requires us to examine ourselves, that requires us to stay in the presence of the Most High with prayer and fasting so that we can continue to be renewed. We can continue mm -hmm. to be transformed. Right? It's, it's not an instant snap of the finger and then you're completely a new person. It's a work in progress. It's a working process that we have to keep at. Any thoughts? That I can, I'm thinking about the song. I looked at my hands and my hands were new. So that that was a lie then, huh? My feet were too. Remember that song? Mm. Yep. <laughs> so, so 23, and you must let your spirits and mine keep being renewed. All right. Verse 24. And clothe yourself with a new nature created to be godly, mm -hmm. which expresses itself in the righteousness and holiness that flow from the truth. So whenever we have decided to put on Messiah, we have decided to clothe ourselves right in the garments of righteousness. We then, when we're transformed, we then can begin to bear the fruit of the spirit or the fruit of the Ruach. Because that is what the result is of being renewed and transformed and regenerated. We bear fruit. We cannot bear fruit unless we have been transformed or unless we're in the process of being transformed. Mm hmm and the Bible says the branches that don't bear fruit are gathered up and thrown in the fire. So this is really, this is really a big deal. We have to watch ourselves. We have to make sure that we are on guard for our own spirit so that we can continue to grow and transform in the Messiah. Any thoughts? Mm-mm. All right, verse 25. There's start four. Start 24 again. And you must let your spirit and minds keep being mm -hmm. renewed and clothe them yourselves with a new nature created to be godly mm -hmm. with express itself in the righteousness and holiness that flow from the truth. Mm -hmm. Therefore, stripping off falsehood also, let everyone speak truth with his neighbor. Hallelujah. Because we are intimately related to each other as part of a body. Uh huh. Be angry, but sit, but don't sin. Mm -hmm. Don't let the sun go down. A loss of before you have dealt with the cause of your anger. Otherwise, you leave room for the adversary. Otherwise, you leave room for the adversary if you don't 
make amends or go to your brother or your sister, right? And hash these things out that you may have an alt with that person about. Because right. you, that otherwise you leave room for the adversary, you let it fester and that voice begins to speak to you. You should say this or you should do that to them or you should say this to them and it ain't right. It'd be right. the wrong thing. But our tra a transformed mind allows us to do that. It allows us to humble ourselves enough to go to, go to somebody and say, hey, this issue here and explain it or find out what's going on or let them know you offended them or apologize for offending them, right? Or vice versa. But whatever it is, the regenerated mind, the renewed mind, it allows us to humble ourselves enough Go ahead, verse 28. The thief must stop stealing instead. Wait a minute. So, whoa, wait, wait, wait. So the thief must stop stealing. So if you a thief and you stealing, you have to decide to stop doing such things if you are going to have a transformed, regenerated lifestyle. Some of y'all passion to stop stealing. Y'all stealing from the people. Yep. Stop stealing. <laughs> Stop stealing. Instead, he should make an honest living by his own efforts. This way, he will be able to share with those in need. Stop stealing. The thief must stop stealing. So when you when you are transformed, you move from being the thief to righteousness. Hmm. You move from being a thief to a producer. The, the regenerated mind and the transformed mind changes your whole life position. We have to understand even transformation allows us to begin and regeneration, it allows us to begin to walk in the power of the most high. A regenerated mind can't operate in fear no more because all our faith and trust is in the power of the most high. Hallelujah. A regenerated mind will not allow you to be lazy anymore. It will allow it will not allow you to settle for less than what the most high has called you to be. Hallelujah. It removed the spirit of give up and quit. It will remove that from you. But it's a decision that we have to make to be transformed in the renewing of our mind. And walk in the fullness of it. All right, verse 29. Um, 29. 29, 29. Let no harm lang harmful language come from your mouth. Mm -hmm. Only good words that are helpful in meeting the needs. Words that will benefit those who hear them. So, Don't harmful language. When you got to transform, renewed transform mind, even your mouth and the words that come from your mouth are not how they used to be. You got, there are some people, right, who appear to be one way at the assembly, but then when they go home with their spouse, you got the wife disrespecting the husband any kind of way and talk to him any kind of way. And then when the hair wrap come off, it's 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 a whole nother person and vice versa. You got the husband home talking to the wife any kind of way and everything else. But then when they're the assembly, they nice and speaking to everybody else properly. Right? So when you're transformed, you are operating in the space where you are doing with the will of the most high and the character of the Messiah, wherever you go, whether it's in front of a lot of people or it's just you at home. Right? So even our language and our speech should change. You got some people, you know, they still real hard. Some of them will cuss you out in a minute. 
and go praise the, the Most High with the same mouth they just cussed you out with. All right. Any thoughts before we move? Mm -mm. All right. Verse 30. Don't cause grief to Yahuwah, Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh, for uh, he has stamped you as his priority until uh, the day of final redemption. So when we are transformed, right? Mm -hmm. Then we are set apart for the final day of redemption. Nobody ain't saved yet, but we set apart to be saved when the Messiah returns. Mm -hmm. But the but the regenerated um oh man, the the transformation or the transformed thought process, right? Then can be set apart for the most high. But some people say, oh, are you saved? Are you saved? And nobody, nobody saved yet. We are still working out our soul salvation even in now. We're still continuously being renewed. We read the verse that said, keep being renewed in the spirit of your mind. And so it was a work in progress that we're working towards, that the Most High is still purifying us and cleansing us of things that will prevent us from being set apart. Any, any thoughts? Mm -mm. All right, verse 31. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, mm -hmm. anger, violent assertiveness, and slander, along with all spitefulness. Hold on. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, and violent assertiveness and slander. This is what this is the these are the things that we have to strip off when it said strip off your old nature. These are the things of the old nature that some of us still carry around in the truth. We get mad. Some, some people, some people get angry. And I'm mm -hmm. going to give this person a piece of my mind, especially mm -hmm. after they let it fester some. I'm going to give this person a piece of my mind, right? When you, when you're, when you're extremely angry, and you give somebody a piece of your mind, you lose the piece of your mind. When you, you give up peace, you, you give it up. When you go into violent, angry assertiveness, you give up your peace. You can't have peace and be angry and violent at the same time. They don't coincide together. So the transformed, renewed, regenerated man will uh, develop and cultivate habits that will allow us to catch ourselves before we get too far going. Our first, our first mission is to maintain our peace so that when you maintain your peace, you can make decisions from a transformed, regenerated mindset. Right. Not the old nature, not the old nature of bitterness, rage, anger, and violent assertiveness and slander. Right. Any thoughts? Yeah. This one's stepping on. I'm, first, when you said give a piece of their mind, if you have a renewed mind, what you should be giving them is peace, <laughs> but you're giving them rage and spitefulness and bitterness. So you're giving them a piece of your old man. You're going back, digging that back up and then giving it out. So really, truly you have, or we have not been um, transformed or renewed because we are still holding on to that old man. Like, mm -hmm. Today, I had to talk myself out of spitefulness because of something that a kid said to me. But that was like, that was me. That was not showing love or showing the heart of Yahuwah. Um, that was showing anger and bitterness and rage. Mm -hmm. So, right. So the things in 31 represent the characteristics of our own nature. Right. Or, or some of them. 
because there's so many characteristics of, old neighbor, of our own nature from Genesis to Revelation. They're probably going to do a whole chapter about that alone, right? But 31 really represents that old nature, that thing that he said we are to strip off of us, strip right. off our old nature, be renewed in the spirit of our mind, strip off that old nature and clothe ourselves in the garment of righteousness, which is Yahushua the Messiah, right? So verse 31 represents our old nature prior, or you know, that's the prior, and if it is currently on us, it's, it's included in the things that we need to strip off of us mm -hmm. so that we can be renewed in the spirit of our mind. So 31, read 31, the things you're supposed to strip off, the old nature, the man that is not regenerated or not transformed yet. We have to get rid of the what? Get rid of all, all bitterness. Mm -hmm. rage, anger, mm -hmm. violent assertiveness, mm -hmm. and slander, along with all spitefulness. Right? Go ahead. Verse 32. Instead, this, uh -huh, this, this, this verse 32 is what the transformed, regenerated man would bear the kind of fruit that we would bear once we're transformed in the renewing of the spirit of our mind. Go ahead, verse 32. Instead, be kind to each other, mm -hmm. tender hearted, and forgive each other, just as in the Messiah's God as has also forgiven you. The do Messiah know, God. So Yahuwah. Do y'all know, know that the Bible say, if we don't forgive others of their transgressions towards us, that he won't forgive us of ours towards yeah. him. Mm -hmm. So we cannot afford to not forgive one another. Right? We cannot afford to not forgive people because the price of it is salvation. Hmm. If, if if he doesn't forgive us of our transgressions, then we ain't going when he, when he come back. Because we wouldn't, if he doesn't forgive us, then that means our sins would not be pardoned. We won't be found without spot or wrinkle when he comes. Mm. Mm. So the transformed, regenerated, renewed man has enough wisdom to know that it's not an option to have unforgiveness. It's not, a, it's, it's not an option for the man who's transformed or regenerated. Verse 32 said, instead be kind to each other, be tenderhearted and forgive each other just as in the Messiah, Yahuwah has also for giving you or the Messiah is say Yahushua for Yahushua's sake in the King James on the left any thoughts before we move I think it's very powerful this is very powerful and it's something that we, we see all the time people talk oh well you know he knows my heart or I just you know, I, this person got on my nerves this person did this but I think it's the point that I'm I'm hearing over and over again is it's a choice. So you choose not to be mad. You choose not to be angry. You choose not to be mean. Like these are choices that we have. We buy into it or we not. It's not like, well, you know how I am. No, we cannot afford to choose. It's like he said, I put before you life or death. When you choose to be angry, bitter and rage, you're choosing death. And I don't, I don't think, you know, in the long run, I don't think that that is as it's as deep as we understand it to be. I think it's deeper than what we understand it to be, rather. Like, mm -hmm. So when we are transformed or we are regenerated, right, we yeah. can find ourselves immersed in the Ruach. And then our decisions 
that we in our the, the thoughts and the words and the choices that we make and the responses that we have can then be guided and directed by the Ruach himself. That's once that's once we are transformed. That's once our mind has been renewed or is in the process of being renewed daily. We have better options. We have a better way, right? So when we're renewed and regenerated, our thoughts, our decisions, our choices are guided by the Ruach. And the Ruach will never tell us anything wrong. And what we have to understand is that there is a, there is a, a positioning from the old nature to being transformed and renewed in the spirit of your mind. The Bible says that only, he said his sheep know his voice. Right. And no other will they follow, right? Mm -hmm. When we are transformed into the truth, when we are regenerated, we are now positioned to know the voice of the most high. When we know his voice, right, we tend more to obey it than not when we know it's him. When a person has not been transformed and they're still in their old nature, it is a good possibility that they can hear the voice of the most high, but don't know it's him. Therefore, keep going contrary to what they heard. You can be in a crowd of people and not know certain voices. Right, but when you are familiar or you have a relationship with somebody, for say, for example, say it was your mom or something like that, you can hear her voice in the crowd and know that's my mom talking because you have a relationship with her. You've been in communication and communing with her most of your life. So you know her voice without the shadow of a doubt. Hearing his voice, knowing his voice, two different things. Because if you if, if one person is not transformed, they might can hear him but not know it's him because there's no relationship. And then they'll say, something told me not to do that, and I did it anyway. Something was the ruach, but because that person is not transformed, they don't know. They are not his sheep, so they don't know his voice. They can be screaming at them, don't go down that street, don't go down that street, and they still go. Get thumped in the head and robbed. And they'll say, something told me not to go down there while they're holding that ice pack on their head. But without the relationship or being transformed, you can't know his voice, even if you hear it. All right. Let's go next. Colossians 3, 1, 14. So if you were raised along with the Messiah, then seek the things above where oh, the Messiah yeah. is sitting at the right hand of Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. So focus your minds on the things above, not mm -hmm. on things here on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with the mm -hmm. Messiah and Yahuwah. Hallelujah. When the Messiah, who is our life, appears, then you too will appear with him in mm -hmm. glory. Therefore, put to death the earthly parts of your nature, sexual mm -hmm. immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is a form of idolatry. Hmm. So when we become transformed, not hmm. only do we strip off the old nature, our job is to put to death. As they say, kill our flesh daily. As yep. they say, as the old saying goes, right? Yeah. Therefore, put to death the earthly parts of your nature, right? Hmm. This is what we do when we have a regenerated mindset. Go ahead, verse six. Hmm. This is good. Uh, for it, I'm sorry. For it is because of these things that Yahuwah's anger is coming 
on those who disobey him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So now when we are not transformed, we are not renewed, we are not regenerated. I just said that that person does not know the voice of the most high. They might hear it and call it something told me, but continually disobey the something that they heard because only his sheep know his voice. In order to be his sheep or relationship with him to know his voice, we have to be transformed in the renewing of the spirit of our mind mm. and the verse in the Ruach HaKadosh. We read, we read a verse a few, uh, a few chapters back that said exactly that. It, I'm paraphrasing. It says, but you get transformed by the renewing, renewing of your mind in the Ruach HaKadosh. Once that happens is when we are able to know his voice, to begin to know his voice, not just hear it, but to hear it and to know it. For it is because these things that Yahuwah's anger is coming to those who disobey him. If we do not put our old nature to death, if we do not kill our flesh, Yahuwah's anger will come upon us who is disobeying him. Verse 7. True enough, you used to practice these things in the life you once lived, mm -hmm. but now put them all away. Wait, 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 wait. Put them all away. Get rid of them. Put them down. Drop them off outside. Put them in the trash. Get rid of them. Put them away. Put them away. Right? This is the way that we used to be. This is That's the life that we used to live. Right? We have to come all the way out and be completely transformed. And completely maintaining our transformation day by day, sometimes hour by hour. Sometimes you can't do that. You got to do hour by hour. I, I, okay, I got it this hour. Let me just go ahead the first half of the day. Because sometimes even on our jobs, they can, you know, Hallelujah. they can take you there. Yes. You got family members that can take you there too. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Right, but we have to put away those things and practices of the life that we once lived. Especially if you want change, if you want change, then you have to make the change. Right, you can't get better results in this life doing the same thing that you that has been causing you to to folly and fumble and stumble. It don't make sense. And some of us, many of us, know. These the things that we do that are no good for us, and we refuse to put it away. But we have to get to the place of putting those things away. Some mm -hmm. of us do the job with, you know, ninety-five percent of putting most of the stuff away that cause us to have a stumbling block uh, with the Most High. But it's that five percent. It's that five percent that's still lingering that we have to pay attention to, that we have to work on. True enough, you used to practice these things in the life you once lived. We have to learn how to not identify with our old life when we have decided to be transformed. We have to put it away. Go ahead, verse eight. All right, where are we? Verse eight. But now put them all away. Anger, exasperation, meanness, slander, and obscene talk. Never lie to one another because you have stripped away the old self with its ways. Wait, and put so, so, so in other words, when we have stripped away our old self and its ways, we won't lie to one another. Mm-hmm. We won't be all mean and nasty to one another. Don't mean we ain't going to disagree, but we ain't got to be mean and nasty about it. 
It says anger, exasperation. Exasperation sounds like something like you're tired or something. Exasperation. A feeling. I looked it up. You want to hear what it means? What it means? A feeling of intense irritation and annoyance. <laughs> she rolled her eyes in exasperation. <laughs> it, 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 and, the, and what follows right after it is meanness. Slander. <laughs> Everything that goes right along with exasperation, meanness, and slander, and obscene talk. Mm-hmm. I've seen talk talking about somebody, talk about their mama and they all that. I've seen talk. It's absurd. And some of these people old too. You over 40 still acting like you're, you're throwing tantrums when you don't agree with somebody and you're going to just let anything fly out of your mouth and any attitude be present. With fringes, with your fringes on and everything else. Makes no sense. <laughs> this real talk, like if it, if this wasn't real, it wouldn't be in here for our learning. Right. It's really for our learning so that we can be aware, so that we can examine ourselves, so that we cannot be deceived by our own selves. Mm. Thinking that we are in the in the in the better place than what we actually are because we don't spend time examining ourselves, but we watching and looking and pointing at everyone else. Instead of being transformed in the renewing of our minds, mm-hmm. worrying about what everybody else doing or ain't doing. Meanwhile, we ain't no better. No. And you have to spend time uh, with you to do that, right? That just doesn't happen on Facebook. Yep. Yeah. All right. Verse nine. I'll start from eight. But now put them all away. Anger, aspiration, meanness, slander, and obscene talk. Never lie to one another because you have stripped a- away the old self with its ways and have put on a the new self, which is continually being renewed. And wait a minute. Full- wait, a mi- wait, wait a minute. So don't, dis- don't, di- don't get discouraged if you fall short. Dust yourself off. Get back up and get back on the path. This right here said, put on the new self, which is continually being renewed. Right. When you put on the new self, when you strip off the old nature and close yourself in the garments of righteousness, it don't mean you ain't going to have some times where you may slip and fall, that you may, some people may backslide, but you get back up and you get back on track because you are continually being renewed. And those things happen really to show us what's in us and the areas that we need to be work on, work on in us. So if we're honest with ourselves, we can then begin to strip off those things that Yahuwah has brought to our attention and let us openly see, okay, I, I'm jacked up in this area or this area, whatever it is, so that we can begin to strip off that old nature and put those things away from us. All right, verse 10, start from verse, start there again. And you have put on a new self. And have put on the new self, which is continually being renewed in fuller and fuller knowledge, closer and closer to the image of its creator. Hallelujah. So that is the process of transformation. We're continually being renewed. We are are coming, continually being renewed in fuller and fuller knowledge, closer and closer to the image of the creator. Hallelujah. All right, verse 11. The new self allows no room for discriminating between Gentile and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised. Mm -hmm. Foreigner, salvage, slave, free man. On the contrary, in all, the Messiah is everything. Hallelujah. Hold on. Verse 12. Go ahead. Therefore, as Yahuwah's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe Mm -hmm. yourselves with feelings of compassion Uh and with kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Hold on. Hold on. So this, this is the character of the regenerated man. 
This is the character that the generated or transformed or renewed mind will express. Mm, mm, mm. It said, clothe yourself with feelings of compassion and with kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Some of us don't have this stuff. That's why, that's why right up here, right up here in verse 10, it says, and put on the new self, which is, which is continually being renewed. Some of us don't have these attributes here. Down here, this fruit, this fruit down here in verse 12, when it says, clothe yourself with the feelings of compassion, of kindness, humility, and gentleness, and patience. This is fruit that the transformed, renewed, regenerated mind expresses. Any mm. thoughts? No. All right. 13. Bear with one another. If anyone has a complaint against someone else, forgive him. Indeed, uh -huh. just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must forgive. Whoa, so we, we, see, we see this again. We've seen it before earlier mm -hmm. about forgiving. Go ahead. Above all these, clothe yourself with one, with love, which binds everything together perfectly. So we keep on talking about clothe ourselves. So we 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 really we that old nature is like a dirty set of clothes mm. that we have to strip off, right? To be mm -hmm. purified and then clothe ourselves in all, all these things. That verse 12 says, clothe yourself with feelings of compassion and with kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Verse 14 says, above all clothe yourself with love, which binds everything together perfectly. We need some new clothes. Yeah. <laughs> These old rags ain't getting it. They ain't getting it. Mm -hmm. They got spots and wrinkles all over. But we have to understand that this thing is something that we're constantly walking in. We're constantly growing in. Because mm -hmm. verse 10 said, continually being renewed to a fuller and fuller knowledge. And so we're growing levels in this thing. We're growing every day and obtaining more and more knowledge by the Ruach. And when this happens and this is transpiring in our lives, then we should be bearing more fruit little by little. All right, any thoughts we move? All right, Second Corinthians five fourteen through nineteen. For the Messiah's love has hold of us, because we are con see convinced that one man died on behalf of all mankind, mm -hmm. which Im which implies that all mankind is already dead. Uh huh. Whoa, and wait, 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 wait. So. When we're transformed or regenerated, listen to this. We are literally brought to life. Our life is being immersed into the Messiah. He's life. He's the way, the truth, the life, right? Mm -hmm. So before we are in him, before we are transformed, we are like the walking dead. Anytime that someone refuses to serve the most high, refuses to submit, their name is not written in the book of life. So it's like it's almost like being blotted out of existence. Because in order to exist, we have to be, our life is in the presence of the most high. 
So for us to have our name written in the book of life, we have to be regenerated and transformed and renewed and submit to the will of the Most High. Other than that, that individual is already dead before they even die. Any thoughts before we move? No. Uh, all right, verse 15. And that he died on behalf of all and other in order that those who live should not live any longer for themselves, mm -hmm. but for the one who on their behalf died and raised. So from now on, we do not look at anyone from the worldly viewpoint. Mm -hmm. Even if we once regarded the Messiah from a worldly viewpoint, we do so no longer. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if anyone is united with the Messiah, he is a new creature. The old has passed. Look what has come is fresh and new. So this, this happens when we strip off our old nature and clothe ourselves in Messiah. Right? When we do that, we are considered to be a new creature. The old things has passed away. They've been washed. Go ahead, verse 18. Um, uh, hold on. 18. And it is all from Yahuwah who thought the Messiah was reconciled us. The work of re reconciliation. Hold on. And it, and it shall from Yahuwah who through the Messiah has reconciled us to himself and has given us that work of reconciliation. So this is this is this is the whole transformation process. This is the regenerated process through the Messiah. Re regeneration or transformation allows us, right? have access to be reconciled back to the most high. This is what being transformed and be renewed in the spirit of your mind is all about. Okay. All right, go ahead. Which is that Yahuwah and the Messiah was re reconciling mankind to himself, not counting their sin against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Hallelujah. All right. We are almost done. Um, for the met oh, first Corinthians 1 18. Mm -hmm. For the message about the execution stake is nonsense to those in the process of being destroyed. But to us in the process of being saved, it is the power of Yahuwah. So I said earlier that ain't no, nobody is saved right now just yet. We're in the process of being renewed. We read that, right? And now here in 1 Corinthians 1 through 18, it says, for the message about the execution saying is nonsense to those who in the process of being destroyed, but to us in the process of being saved, the process of being renewed, the process of being fully transformed. We are in the process of being saved. We are still yeah. working out our soul salvation. Mm -hmm. We're in the process of being truly renewed, truly regenerated. It's a progressive work. It's not a microwave situation. So we're in the process of being saved. It is, it is the power of Yahuwah. It is his power that gives us the ability to be regenerated. 
gives us the ability to be transformed and have our mind renewed. All right. Second Corinthians three. So all of us with faces unveiled see as in the mirror, the glory of the Adonai mm -hmm. and they, and we are being changed into his image from one degree of glory to the next by Adonai, the spirit. Hallelujah. From one glory to the next, right? Mm -hmm. In the process, little by little, step by step. But we have to make the decision and keep choosing the decision, right? To be transformed, to be renewed in our mind. Mm -hmm. And so while we're doing this, nobody is saved yet. Those who endure to the end, the same shall be saved. That's what the word says. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked me the other day, I was out. It was just yesterday. Yesterday when I was down at City Hall, people were in the corner and they had a prayer station and lady stopped and asked me, was I saved? And I was just, I wanted to go through all this, but I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm yes, I'm, I'm good. Because it takes a lot of time to get somebody to, to break that mindset. We, First Corinthians said, we're in the process of being saved. Right? Mm -hmm. Thoughts, comments. Mm, this was a good lesson. That was our last scripture. I'm just making sure we didn't miss anything. We got them all. All right. That was a good, good, good reminder. Good reminder of where our mind should be. Because I'm telling you, today I was angry <laughs> with those kids in my classroom. So I need to be mindful. Thank you so much, sir. Hallelujah. I was I was I was dishing out recess detentions today. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> recess detentions. All right. It don't look like we have any questions in the chat. No. Shabbat shalom, Destiny. Shabbat shalom, Thomas TV. Thank you guys for stopping in with us. Shabbat shalom, Brittany, as always, and my Yah. Shabbat shalom. Um Hopefully that I said something that was helpful or edifying, something that we can kind of remember to try to keep, you know, at the forefront of our mind as we're going through this journey and this walk, trying to get our lives together so that we can be in right standing with the Most High. Um, with that, I say shalom. Um, I'm going to pray us out. Okay. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We thank you. Hallelujah. And we ask for forgiveness, Father. We ask for forgiveness of all those times where we were bitter, where we did go back and we did just um, rely on the old man. We just went ahead and put that coat of anger on and that coat of bitterness on. And yeah, we told them exactly how we felt. And yeah, it had nothing to do with the Ruach. It had everything to do with our ill issues and our fleshly mind. Forgive us, Father. Yeah, we ask that you repair any hurt that we have done trying to walk in our own flesh, but proclaiming your name, Father. That is a serious offense. Show us, yeah, if we have hurt or damaged anyone, show us where we have spit seeds of negativity in places in our environment, yeah, where our words have changed some of what we were supposed to be doing. Help us to fix and go back and make a choice to do the right thing, Father, that we may heal the situation and heal people instead of destroy them and tear them down. Y'all forgive us for that. 
We can forgive us for what those those thorns or those horn, those um, nails that we have placed in people, yeah, and just rip them apart with our words. How our anger and rage spilled out on other people, yeah, and at the same time we proclaimed your name, yeah. We wore your fringes, yeah. We wrapped our heads, and yeah, we even um, uh, worshipped on your Shabbat. But yeah, our hearts were not completely transformed, or at that moment, yeah, we slipped back into our old ways. Forgive us, yeah. We know, yeah, that you always allow a choice, that there is always a ram in the bush. Yeah, we say that we will choose and help our unbelief, yeah, help our uh, our lack of faith in the area where we still want to go back and pick that up, yeah. Help us, show us, stop us, speak to us before those things happen again, yeah, so that we can choose right yeah we thank you and we love you and again we ask that you forgive us in your son's name yeah and we um choose to do the right thing we choose to uh turn and we choose to be renewed in our mind in our hearts and our souls we choose to be kind we choose to be gentle and show your love in yeshua's name we pray Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.